How's it going guys? My name is Jerry with Aesthetic Auto Detailing here in West Covina, California. And today what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, buff and wax on this Maybach, uh, Mercedes Maybach. So what, the main focus is just kind of get rid of uh, some oxidation and kind of make the paint pop. This does have a lot of swirl marks. We're not going to do like a step one, step two paint correction, uh, but in the process, we it is going to clean up, you know, some of those uh, swirl marks. So, and the reason why I said that is because the product that I use is a 3D one and it's a hybrid. So it has cutting compound and finishing polish. So in a step one polish, what you would really do is you're going to go a little slower and focus more on the, on the swirl marks. This one is just going to clean up the paint, make it pop. All right, so what's going to be the first step, Jerry? All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to start off with the wheels, you know, clean them up, degrease them, agitate. Um, then we're going to go ahead and wash it. We're going to clay bar, do some iron decontamination, and then we're going to dry it. And that's where we start with all the buffing. All right, Jerry, so you just finished the wash, the clay bar, uh -huh. and now you're drying, but you found something. Oh yeah, yeah, we we were here yesterday, so we kind of like told him already there's kind of some imperfections and on his other vehicle. So he kind of knew we were gonna find something on this one. So he said like, look, whatever you guys come across, just do the job and show me after, which there's kind of a flaw in that because every client's different so they could just be like oh why didn't you uh why don't you bring it to my attention before so take a look at this right here so i had to take a i had to take a video for for my uh my records also that right here yeah 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 this right here what is that like a scratch or something no uh, i don't know i mean it looks like some oxidation it might come off we'll see what's up but but you took a picture of it oh yeah Take a video, take a picture. The video is probably the best you can get it from different angles. So since we have the canopy over here, um, we're, I'm gonna do probably all the right side. All, pretty much everything that I have in the shade. And then once I'm finishing up, we'll probably move the canopy over a little bit so we can start working on the other side. Is it hard to buff in the in direct sunlight? Or is it just because it's hot outside and? Um, yeah, honestly, it's not recommended. I've done it. You know, I've had clients where they're just like, just, just do it. But the thing is, is, um, you know, you're risking the product drying. So it's not going to be, you know, like lubricated or uh, the paint's already hot. You could burn through the, the clear coat. It's just, I wouldn't recommend it. Like I said, I, I've done it because clients are just, come on, bro, just do it. And I've told them already, but you know, you'll come across some people where they just want it done. And then if it happens, they can't get mad. Luckily, I've never been in that predicament. Well, let me know. Have you guys ever had to like buff, you know, in direct sunlight? If so, do you guys recommend it or would you rather stay away from it? All right, Jerry, what equipment and chemicals are we going to be using? All right, so we're going to be using a 3D one that I showed you guys earlier. And then this is a Max Shine. This is a three inch polisher. Yes, sir. It's been through some stuff. Yep, so I like to use the, uh, it, well it depends on what area I'm doing. So if I'm gonna do a hood uh, or a trunk, you know, bigger surface, um, I'll use like a five inch polisher. But if I'm going to use, if I'm gonna do a door, you know, kind of little tight areas like that, I prefer to use the, uh, the three inch. All right, Jerry, how's it going, man? So far, so good, man. So far, so good. So my question is, I don't know, man. Maybe I don't have the eye, uh -huh. but how can you tell it's working or that you're getting any results? So it's kind of hard to tell in the shade, um, but once we take off the canopy, we'll, you'll be able to tell for sure. So pretty much like right now on the shade, you just have to trust the process. Um, yeah, that's the only reason why I kind of don't like working under um a canopy but um that's where like the the light stands come in you know led even your flashlight it's not the best but i can already tell that like it's, it's clearing up so i put the tape over there on the hood 
Um, that way we can move the canopy real quick and we'll be able to compare it. But I mean, we're going slow. We're, uh, we're not going as slow as we would for like a polish, but I know I know the paint's already clearing up. You, you can tell the difference because the paint looks a little more clear. It doesn't look oxidized. When it, when it looks oxidized, it looks a little cloudy and it doesn't look like that anymore. So these two, these two doors are done. I have to do this, uh, this little quarter panel um, and I have to do that one back there and then the mirror and I'll bust out my, uh, my one inch polisher and I'll get in here also. All right guys, so right now we're gonna move the canopy. Um, we're gonna move it over all the way to the left so we can start working on the left side in the shade. Um, so with that, we're gonna reveal pretty much how the front end is gonna look, the hood. We did a 50-50, so we should be able to tell a difference. All right guys, so what do you guys think about the results? Drop it down in the comments below. And if you guys need a detail in the West Covina slash LA area, contact me. My information is down in the comments below. And if you guys wanna see more detailing content, like, subscribe, and stay blessed.